How's it going, everyone? ND Sean 45 coming at you. As we all saw last night, the Irish hold firmly onto that number four spot in the college football playoff rankings. Like I told all, all of you guys out there, especially the ones in the Notre Dame fan base who were being all negative and concerned about someone passing us, we control our own destiny. We went out, we are in. And at this point in time, I say that very confidently. Because we hold the edge over the teams that are right behind us. So, it's kind of hard to keep us out if uh, if we went out. But aside from that, on to this week's game. This is the 11th game of the regular season. It's crazy how fast these uh, these seasons fly by. I mean, I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or what, but they always seem to go quickly. But this week is the infamous Shamrock Series game. And this year, the Irish will be hosting the Boston College Eagles in famous Fenway Park in Boston. This game, and I'm sure my buddy Shamrock Jerry, if he catches this, will agree with me. This is Irish and Patty written all over it. You know, you have Boston, probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest, uh, Irish cities in America. Uh, two Catholic schools, uh, Fenway Park, doesn't get more Irish than that. Let the Guinness flow out in Boston on Saturday night. Now, Boston College, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, whenever we play Boston College, it's a little bit personal for me. See, pretty much my whole life, in, well, select times I should say, Boston College has had a tendency to play spoiler for us and ruin our season. Um... Any true Irish fan out there remembers 1993, the week after we upset number one Florida State, Boston College upsets us on a last second field goal. Uh, those just I mean, these, these are just a few times that stand out to me personally, but that one should stand out to all Irish fans. Uh, the next one for me in particular, 2002, same scenario. We come off a, a big win over Florida State. I believe they were ranked six at that time. We come home and uh, to play Boston College, a team that we should have no problem with. Uh, but no, we commit about seven or eight turnovers that game. And keep in mind, instant replay was not around in 2002. Refs miss miss a obvious touchdown for Notre Dame at one point in the game, a very crucial point in the game. We end up losing to Boston College 14 to seven that day, and our national championship or and or BCS bowl game uh, drive ends. Uh, so, yeah, I, I can tell you guys one thing. That was going to school that that week, that following Monday. That was my junior year in high school. It was like walking the last mile on death row. Hard to forget. It sucked. 2004. Now, now, when we played Boston College that year, it was later in the season like it is now. Um, we were out pretty much out of the BCS picture at that point, but we were still playing, you know, for a decent bowl game. Decent bowl position, you know, better than what we had already clinched at that point. Uh, nope, they end up coming into our house and up, uh, pulling off an upset, because I think we were ranked in the, uh, in the 20s at, at that time, I believe. I could be wrong. So all I know is this game is personal for me. I Boston College over the years has left a bitter taste in my mouth. So there you go. I just w wasted about 3 minutes and 15 seconds uh, talking about how much uh, I have a disdain for B.C., but getting to the game itself, um, Boston College this year is 3-7. and seven. They pretty much have no postseason to play for whatsoever. This week is their bowl game. So just like uh, our recent opponents, expect Boston College to come out firing right from the get-go. Uh, expect, expect them to bring some extra oomph for this game. Because this, you know, this is a Notre Dame home game in their backyard. So expect the unexpected. Be ready for them. We got to treat this like a like we're playing the number one team in the nation. Um, but breaking this game down, um, keys to victory for the Irish. Very simple. We have got to establish a run game. And I know it's I say simple. But it's easier said than done. But Boston College, even though they're three and seven, they have. From what I remember reading in an article, or the you know the stats, they have the best rushing defense in the country. So getting the running game going is going to be crucial in this one. 
So hope with CJ Procise hopefully coming back and Josh Adams, we should be able to get that done. But that's the first key to victory. Second key to victory, and I say this every video, and I'll never stop saying it, no turnovers, no silly mistakes, protect the football. See, because I have... I have all the confidence in the world that our offense is going to move the ball and, you know, score points on Boston College, no problem. But it's going to be a different game if we can't protect that ball and if we turn it over, okay? Because if Boston College gets their hands on it and puts it and, you know, get a, into a situation where they control the clock, that's going to put us in a vulnerable situation that we don't want to be in. So get a run game going, protect the football, and do our thing. No silly mistakes. You know, this with this win, we pretty much assure ourselves a New Year's Day 6 Bowl. But, of course, we want more than that, obviously. So, based on everything that I've just uh, pointed out, and you see, I don't really have any key players to name for BC because they've gone through, like, three or four different quarterbacks. Um, there really isn't an offensive player right off the right off the top of my mind that really stands out to me. I mean... How can anyone really stand out in a three and, in a three and seven campaign to this point? I'm not trying to be a jerk towards BC, but you know you could say you could have said the same thing in 2007 with us when we went three and nine. Uh, but based on all this, I see this game being won by the Irish, of course, by the final score of 35 to 14. That's my prediction, uh, 35 to 14 in the 2015 edition of the Shamrock series. So, we get through this one, we can then focus on the big one at Stanford next week. So, that's all I have for you guys. So, with that said, this is ND Sean 45 signing off. God bless, and as always, go Irish, baby! Beat Eagles!